Welcome back to the Filipino FM channel, your home for Filipino football manager content. Today, we are doing another football manager 2023 experiment, replacing two perfect players in the Vanarama National League North, but we're differentiating them by giving one good hidden attributes and giving the other bad hidden attributes. And we're going to see which player does better. So this is our perfect player with good hidden attributes. As we can see here, we've made him a striker, 16 years old, Filipino. We've given him all 20s for all of his attributes. And if we go to his hidden attributes, he has all 20s for the good things. So adaptability, ambition, professionalism, temperament, etc. And he has ones for the bad things. So he's uncontroversial. He's not a dirty player and he shouldn't ever really get injury prone. On the flip side, we have our perfect player with bad hidden attributes. So as we can see here, same age, same position, exact same attributes. However, when we look at those hidden attributes, we can see that it's the complete opposite. So adaptability, ambition, pressure, professionalism, temperament, etc. are all one. While he's also a very controversial player, he should be a very dirty player, and he should be very injury prone. And the last thing I've changed with this perfect player is that normally, I'll go to the perfect player with good hiddens for this, normally we freeze their attributes. So this stops the game from adjusting the player's attributes to match their current ability. So this keeps all of their attributes at 20. What I want to do with this one is we're not going to freeze either player's attributes because I want to see over the course of their career, one, what a 200 current ability player will look like with different hidden attributes but two, how quickly each player is going to regress. So normally, we look at hidden attributes from the development perspective. So this essentially means that we're looking to see how a young player, whether or not they'll reach their full potential ability. But here we have perfect players. They are already at their full potential ability. I want to see when they start regressing and how quickly they regress. So essentially, this will answer the question of maybe you have a really good older player or you're thinking about signing maybe you know a 30 year old who is a great player but they have poor hidden attributes maybe they have a temperamental personality and you're not sure whether to sign them because you don't know how many years you're going to get out of them this is going to help answer that question to see how quickly they might regress so i predict that the perfect player with good hidden attributes will be good for their entire career well, I think the perfect player with bad hidden attributes, once we get into the late 20s, early 30s, we're going to see him regress very quickly, especially I believe the physical attributes go first. So if we look at this player, I can see these physical attributes getting really bad really quickly later on in his career. So both perfect players are in the Vanarama National Meek North bad hiddens at Kettering and good hiddens at Blythe. And the reason I've chosen those two teams is because they're the two teams that are predicted to finish last in the Vanarama National League North this season. So we'll see whether the perfect players collectively help both clubs to get to their peak, um, whether they can get promoted and work their way up the English football divisions, or we'll see whether it doesn't really have an effect either. And the last thing is that for both Blythe and for Kettering, I have nerfed their facilities. So I've made training facilities, youth facilities, junior coaching, youth recruitment, and corporate facilities all one. And this is because I think this will have the biggest impact on whether or not each player regresses. So we'll have a better indication without those good training facilities and good youth facilities, how each player regresses later on in the career. Now, obviously, both clubs could improve their training facilities and youth facilities if they have the capacity to do so later on. Um, but we'll see whether that happens. So that is the hidden attribute experiment. Two perfect players in the Vanarama National League North. Let's see what happens to start off. I think we're just going to go forward one year and see how each player is doing then and see where their ability has kind of settled. So I'm going to go forward one season and we'll catch you in a little bit. Welcome back. We are one year into the future and already an interesting development. Kettering was relegated into the Southern Premier Central Division from the Vanarama National League North. While Blythe stayed up, they are still in the Vanarama. Oh, they're in the Vanarama National League. They got promoted. Wow. 
Okay, so that suggests that there might have been... Let's look at the two perfect players, because it seems like a perfect player with good in hidden attributes made a big difference. So we're going to start off with the perfect player with bad hidden attributes. And he looks like a really good player. He's, he's capped by the Philippines, three caps, one goal. Let's look at his current ability. 200, 200 current ability. I mean, excellent attributes all around. Let's look at the career stats. But he didn't do very well. He made 34 appearances, 10 goals, 5 assists, and only a 6.7 average rating. Wow. Okay, so let's look at the, the good hidden attributes and see what might have been different. So here's our perfect player with good hidden attributes. He looks, to be honest, exactly the same attribute wise. I'm going to assume he's also, he is also 200 out of 200 current ability. Also three caps for the Philippines with one goal. But he was so much better. 44, way more appearances. So that, that suggests that the injury prone to say I played a role. 38 goals, 14 assists, 19 player of the match awards, and a 7.66 overall rating. Helping Blythe get promoted. This is huge. This suggests that, I mean, the, the hidden attributes aren't even just affecting how they develop. I mean, it's hugely affecting the game. I'm going to be honest, at such a low division, I didn't think that the bad player or the perfect player with bad hidden attributes would play that poorly just because it was so low i thought this would make a difference in like the championship but this is huge i mean the average ratings are so much different and i wanted to just see the player differences and sure enough there isn't really a difference like there's no difference in their attributes there's there's barely any difference if there is one but the perfect player with good hidden attributes was just so much better this season. That is shocking. And of course, looking at his landmarks here, Vanderama National League North player this season and the top goal scorer, they were promoted as champions. Wow, that is a huge difference. And looking at last season, Blythe ran away with it. And clearly his goals have played a huge part in that. But Kettering were relegated, and they weren't really that close to staying up. So already, the difference in hidden attributes is making a huge difference in how both players have performed. All right, well, the difference in Season 1 is, for, at least for me, truly shocking. I was not expecting such a big difference. Let's go forward five seasons. So let's go to Season 6 and see how both players are doing at what should be closer to the peak of their career. So I'll fast forward and I'll see you in a little bit. Welcome back. We are on the 29th of June, 2029. So both players should be 23 years old now. And we do have Kettering back in the Vanarama National League North. But Blythe has been promoted all the way to Skybet League One with back-to-back -back promotion. So it looks like they were promoted from the Vanarama National League North they spent four seasons in the Vanarama National League and then back-to-back -back promotions all the way up to Skybet League One. All right. So clearly, I mean, the perfect player with good hidden attributes has to be making a big difference. Let's look at how he has done. And obviously, he looks like a fantastic player. I'm going to assume 200. We, we should, we're not expecting any differences in current ability at the moment. But with how they're playing, I mean, he's been phenomenal look at all these goals great assists superb average ratings he has been fantastic i will say disappointingly for the philippines he has 57 caps and only one goal i'm assuming if we look at their schedule that's just because they're not doing very well i mean they are losing a lot of games i don't have the philippines league loaded so i'm not surprised that he's not doing well for the philippines but he's been fantastic for blythe skybet league one player of the year League one top goal scorer. Same thing in League two when they were promoted. Vanarama National League top goal scorer each season and the player of the season and the Vanarama National League each season. So good hidden attributes is making a big difference right now. And our perfect player with bad hidden attributes is actually not as high current ability. He only has 195 current ability. He's actually gotten worse at 23 years old. 
Well, this is interesting. So his, his current ability is not as good. So let's look at the comparison. And technically, wow. Okay, so uh, the perfect player with bad hidden attributes is on your left. And the perfect player with good hidden attributes is on your right. And it is significantly different towards the perfect player with the good hidden attributes. Maybe physically the bad hidden attributes player is better. Mentally, they're pretty even. But technically... I think it's more towards the good hidden attributes player. Although it looks like it's more for things like marking, tackling, although technique is a lot better. This is really interesting. I'm surprised that, I mean, it's not like a huge current ability loss, but I am surprised at this stage in his career already, the bad hidden attributes player has a lower current ability. And he's been so bad. He has been so bad for Kettering. I mean, they actually got promoted to the Vanarama National League, and he was garbage. And then they're back in the Vanarama National League South. He's barely playing. He must be getting tons of injuries. He has horrible average ratings when he's on the field, and he's not scoring many goals. I was not expecting the bad hidden attributes to cause him to be this bad. I mean, he's doing worse than our average player did. I was curious to see the injuries, and he has had a ton of them. Four months with a broken angle, four weeks, four weeks. Clearly, the injuries are keeping him off the field. I, I'm wondering if, you know, maybe he hasn't also been match fit. I've also been all, all in matches. But again, he's like the perfect player. I wasn't expecting him to be this bad. I am curious to see if there there aren't any changes in his hidden attributes. It looks like he's slightly more consistent, slightly better in important matches, and slightly more versatile. But otherwise, everything else is still pretty much the same. So not much has changed there. As he gets older, I will expect some things to change. I'll like I'll expect his professionalism to increase. These are things that naturally increase with age in Football Manager. So we'll see if he does get better as he moves along. Well, in 2029, we're already seeing huge differences. Let's go forward to when they're 30 years old. So in theory, this will either be the peak of their career or the time when they start to regress. So I'm going to go forward seven years and let's catch them at 30 years old. Welcome back. We are on the 29th of June, 2036. Both players are 30 years old. And a big difference, the perfect player with bad hiddens is playing in the Vanarama National League North. Well, the perfect player with good hidden attributes is playing in the Skybet Championship. He has had a huge impact on Blythe Spartans. He has made them go way up the league. So let's actually look and see how Blythe are doing. So they actually, oh, wow, they were in the Skybet Championship before. So they won Skybet League 1 after being there for a few years, then got relegated, but were promoted and finished 10th last season. They're an established Sky Bet Championship team at this moment in time. And at 30 years old, our perfect player with the good hidden attributes still looks like a perfect player. Still 200 current ability, 118 caps and 77 goals. That is fantastic. Let's look at his history. And he's been phenomenal each season with outstanding goal scoring records. He's phenomenal. 457 goals across his career. He was the Skybet Championship top goal scorer, Skybet League One top goal scorer, and player of the year. He was the, oh, only the top goal scorer runner up in the Skybet Championship there, but top goal scorers pretty much every year he's played Skybet League One player of the year multiple times. He has had a phenomenal career for Blythe. I am curious to see whether Blythe have improved their facilities at all. They have improved their facilities, but they're still pretty bad. I'm going to assume that Kettering has not improved their facilities, given that they haven't gone up the leagues. <laughs> They've improved their junior coaching and youth group movement, but yes, no no improvement in facilities. So that might might be playing an impact as well. But obviously, our perfect player with good hidden attributes has helped them get up the leagues. He's helped them to earn more money by being in a higher division, and clearly it's helping the facilities. But let's look at the perfect player with bad hidden attributes, and I'll tell you what, he looks a lot worse than the other player. He doesn't look bad, but he looks significantly much lower dribbling, much lower crossing, not very good heading, and we're starting to see those physicals deplete. Let's look at his attributes, and he is, he's a lot worse. 
177 current ability, that's 23 current ability points lower than he started off with. We are seeing a slight improvement in professionalism. And he's much more consistent. Okay, so he's much more consistent than we used to be. So that does something that improves with age. And he's much more versatile. Let's see if that's translated to better performances. I, he's still not very good. He's, he's still not very good. So up until the 2030 season, he still hadn't had above 7.0 rating. And he's had one good season. And he only played 17 matches, I'm going to assume, because of injury. So even with, I mean, he's consistent now. He's a very consistent player, but he's still not doing very good. Has he won anything? I mean, he's named in the seasonal best 11. Wow. I mean, he's really not that good. And for, I mean, this is a 177 current ability player who's consistent. I mean, we're talking like, you know, Kareem Benzema, Tony Cruz level player. And he's just meh he's pretty just not very good and clearly it's showing for Kettering I mean they've been relegated from the Vanarama National League North then they got up to the Vanarama National League not very long and they've just been a Vanarama National League North side they're not very good so takeaways here the perfect player with the good hidden attributes is playing better he's still at a high current ability he hasn't regressed at all yet and the bad hidden attributes player is regressing significantly, and they're just not playing as well. I was not expecting hidden attributes to have this much of an effect. So the last thing I want to do, let's go three more years into the future. Each player will be 33 years old. This would probably be about the time when you wouldn't really be sure if you would want them or not. So let's go forward to 2039 and see how both players are doing then. Welcome back. We are in the year 2039. So both players are 33 years old, and let's see how each of them are doing. So even at 33 years old, our player with the good hidden attributes looks phenomenal, and he hasn't regressed. He's regressed one current ability point. He's still 199 overall current ability. He looks fantastic. 39 goals in the Skybat Championship. He's still playing phenomenally well. Huge average overall ratings. Surely he's winning the top goal scorer, Skybet Championship Player of the Year, top goal scorer, Player of the Year, top goal scorer. I don't think we need to look any further than this. He's been phenomenal. How have they been doing? Oh, they finished third. I think we're, okay, after this, we are still going to continue forward because I think we might see him in the English Premier League. They finished third, sixth, eighth. They're steadily progressing. They might make it. And on the other hand, Kettering are in the English Southern League. Let's look at them. So they were actually relegated this past season. They have not been very good. And our perfect... He looks terrible. In just three seasons, he's down to 134 current ability. So just like the hidden attributes helps with development, it helps them not and again remember this is a player with high natural fitness so we you know we've talked about in previous videos natural fitness is really important for player regression but clearly the hidden attributes makes a big difference as well if we look at his hidden attributes they're still terrible his professionalism actually never really got that much higher it actually went down a little bit more he's very consistent now he's versatile but he's terrible his pace he's slow and looking at his performances, he had two maybe good seasons, but I mean, it wasn't even in, in a playable league. Wow, I'm shocked at how bad he's been. And I'm not surprised seeing the injuries here. I mean, his, you definitely don't want a player who's really injury prone just looking at this. But wow, I'm just shocked at how bad he's done. I think, honestly, this probably, as far as this experiment is concerned, this answers the question. Bad hidden attributes play a huge role in regression. And if you have a player and he is, you know, around 30 years old, he's probably not one to sign if he has bad hidden attributes because he's going to regress very quickly. Um, I am curious to see, though, whether Blythe makes it into the English Premier Division. I believe I have this save until 2045, maybe. So let's go forward to the end of the simulation and see how both players are getting along. All right, we are in 2045. This is the last year that I have the simulation going. 
So going for both players, they're both still playing. Oh, and Blythe is in the Skybet Championship. I don't know if they ever made it to the English Premier Division. Oh, they made it to the Prem! They did make it to the... Oh, wow! So we got our perfect player with good hidden attributes. Eventually led them to the Prem. They finished second and got automatically promoted, but finished 20th. Then got promoted again, but then finished 18th. They made it to the Prem. We have to see how they did, obviously. So looking at the Premier Division, let's go back a couple seasons. Oh, Blythe. Oh, they got relegated on goal difference. That's so... Oh, and they were tied on points with Aston Villa and, and Southampton made the, the Champions League. Oh, if they just scored, you know, seven more goals, they would have gone through. Oh, that's sad. When the season, oh, and the other season, they were relegated at last. But we got two seasons of our perfect player with the good hidden attributes in the English Premier Division. Let's see how he did in the EPL career stats wise. And he did pretty good. Uh, around a seven overall rating. I mean, he wasn't great, but at this point, he's probably not as good as he was. But overall, I would say he didn't do too bad. Looking at his profile, he's a bit slow now, natural, but he still looks really good, I must say, at 39 years old. He's still 152 current ability. He's fantastic still. Like, by current ability wise, he is still a good Premier Division player at 152 current ability. He's absolutely fantastic at phenomenal mentals, really good technicals. Physically, he's he's not great, but he's still really good, which explains why he still did well in the Skybet Championship. Let's look at his milestones. Obviously relegated. Oh, a Asian Footballer of the Year when he was in the EPL. Oh, sorry, in the Skybet Championship. And he was still third place in the top goal score award. He was actually quite phenomenally good. Even at 37, 38, 39, our perfect player with good hidden attributes was really good. Overall, 973 league appearances, 688 goals, 231 assists, and an average 7.4 overall rating. For a player that, again, we didn't freeze the attributes, and they haven't regressed. Like, they've regressed, but they haven't regressed that much. At 39 years old, this is still a fantastic player. So Blythe, so we did see our perfect player with good hidden attributes. He brought Blythe up all the way to the Premier Division. That's nuts. And on the flip side, Kettering is still in the Vanarama National League North. They actually just, they just kept promoted from the Vanarama National League North. They have not been very good. And looking at how they've done. Oh, so they weren't in the Vanarama National League North for a while. And he's just been not very good. And he doesn't. His physicals at this age are awful. I mean, he's 39. That's not a huge surprise. But 72 current ability never really got any better, just a little more consistent. I mean, let's look at the comparisons just so that we can see. It's hugely for the... So the good hidden attributes clearly play an important role in preventing a player from regressing. And remember... We had a very naturally fit, bad hidden attribute player. Just over the course of time, he regressed with those bad hidden attributes. So that is this experiment. Hidden attributes play a significant role in player regression because we had both players starting 200 current ability, but the bad hidden attribute player regressed much quicker. They played terrible performances throughout their career. And the good hidden attribute player brought Blythe Spartans all the way up to the Premier League. I was also curious to see how the Philippines did in just a two-piece cup, so we didn't win anything, unfortunately. Well, that's it. That is everything I have for this experiment. Thank you for watching. I am really curious to see now how this would work as two teams, and I think that's something that I want to do in the future. We should make a perfect team, two perfect teams, one with good hidden attributes, one with bad hidden attributes, and let's see how each team does. But if you're curious to see how a perfect team does, that will be on your screen now to see how long they go without losing. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you have enjoyed this content. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you all are having a wonderful week, and I will catch you all next time. Bye!